Hey everybody, I'm doing a special video today because I'm actually looking for some help. I made a video last homebrew Wednesday and it was a tasting of my speckled heifer homebrew. And if you watch that one you'll know that I said it kind of tasted green and it was green, it was only two weeks old. But um, as I've been thinking about it more and more, I'm fairly certain that it's actually an off flavor I'm tasting and not a green flavor. Um, the reason I feel this way is because I had a brew that's months old. It's a, it was an American wheat test batch that I did, and it had a similar, if not exact, flavor. At first I thought it was just me, but my brother, uh, upon tasting the speckled heifer, also said, hey, this kind of tastes like that American wheat. And it uh, got me thinking maybe there's uh, an off flavor going on here. And we both don't really like the flavor. It's not necessarily bad but it's something that we're not really enjoying that much so I want to try to figure this out um, I'm gonna do that in two or three ways first I would love it if one of my fellow brew tubers here would want to do a beer trade I'll send you a bottle or two of the speckled heifer you could send me whatever you want um, and you, you could taste it and maybe do a video and say it, if this is a, in fact an off flavor and if it is what you might think it's from uh, and you know I would just do a tasting video of whatever you sent me as a kind of reciprocation. Uh, the other ways I'm kind of trying to figure this out is I posted something on homebrewtalk.com and through some discussion uh, we're starting to think that it might be the water source and I'll go into some more detail about all that as I'm tasting another bottle of the speckled heifer. This is now three weeks old and it was in the fridge for three days so at this point I would assume that it's not any flavor I taste in there that doesn't really appeal to me is probably not necessarily a green flavor at this point. It's been in the bottle a fairly long time for a light beer. This is a cream ale and um, I would assume at this point that it should be fairly uh, fairly finished. So I'm going to pour that and I'll kind of do a little extra tasting notes. I'll try to explain what it is I'm tasting. And um, I'll also at the same time kind of tell you the background about this beer, the American wheat, and why we're leaning towards a possible water source being the, off, uh, the, the reason for the flavor that I'm tasting. Alright, so there's the... There's the speckled heifer. As you can see, this is a, a light beer. And they were saying in the homebrew talk, you can probably see me through there. Yeah, it's a, a nice light beer. Um, and they were saying on the homebrew talk website that that the flavors I'm tasting may be due to the fact that it's a light beer. Maybe a lot of the other beers that I've made haven't been light ones and that flavor might have been there in previous batches, just not as noticeable because it was maybe a, a darker beer. Um, let's see, I'm going to taste it. I'll tell you, try to explain what I'm tasting. And that smell is there still. And it's so hard. That's why I want to do this beer trade because it's really, really hard for me to explain exactly what it is that I'm smelling. In the past, when I first did the American wheat, I when I first tasted it, I, I said it was kind of like a rubber plastic kind of flavor. I'm not sure if that's accurate though. That's just kind of as close as I can explain. Let me taste this and I'll see if, it, if that helps. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, that's interesting. The flavor definitely has changed. Only now, in this particular bottle, I'm. Th this one tastes a little tart. Um which you know normally would mean some kind of infection I think um, it's not overly tart it's just as compared to the bottle I tasted last week this one now tastes tart and this I also tasted one 
yesterday. I did a brew video with my brother. I'm going to post that soon. And that did not taste like this. And he pretty much put it in the fridge the same day I put this one. It's the same beer. So the flavor is cha definitely changing and developing still. So, I mean, Northeast Brewer 77, he's one of the homebrew talk brewers that is helping me out try to figure out this problem. He suggested that maybe it is still just green. And tasting it now and how much it's changed, I, I might actually start to go along with that. Although... I, you know what? I actually like this a lot better than I did last week, so um, maybe it's not quite as bad as I thought. Um, a little bit of a crisp, dry tartness to the finish. It's leaving my, my tongue sort of dry. And again, that kind of sounds like what some people are saying a bacterial infection might be, but that wasn't present last week or in the bottle I tried yesterday. So uh, I don't know... Um, if that really would be uh, bacterial at that point. It might just be what this is kind of developing into. Um, that rubber kind of smell that I was talking about, I think it's more appropriately described as, like, after you rack a beer off of a bucket, if you stick your head in that bucket, that residual hop smell combined with the smell of the bucket, that's sort of... And again, this is not really that accurate. I'm having a very hard time explaining the flavor. But that's sort of what I was tasting. And it's going away a little now. This is not um, at all what, as, as strong as the flavor was before. But it is still there. Um, A little bit and the on the back of the palette there is that slight tart dry finish that wasn't there before and um, what else it, it kind of cleanses the palette in a strange way it tastes a lot like um, the Neo Britannia uh, what was it uh, I forget it, the um, the dogfish head uh, Festina Pesce that I was drinking that has that little bit of tartness to it. I forget the name of the style. Um, but that it's reminding me of that now. Uh, and that sweetness that I mentioned in the last video that it had that like residual sweetness and I was kind of talking about how, oh, that's weird how sweet it is. That I'm not getting now. So, I, I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm really confused because this... It, 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 makes me think that maybe I just uh, was being too, uh, too getting too worried over flavors uh, of a green beer but you know what I would still like to send this out anyway if someone wants to do that that beer trade and kind of uh, tell me what they're tasting in it because I, I just want a second opinion basically I want someone to be able to taste this and tell me you know if they decipher an off flavor or if it's just the flavor of the beer. By the time we get a trade together too, it would likely be a lot more um, finished. So that might be a, a good thing too. Um, the way I'll work the trade thing is just whoever gets in touch with me first. You know, I don't, I don't want to do a, a number of trades because I don't have a lot of money and it's going to cost some money to send the beer out. But uh, you're probably the first person, or if like a lot of people get to us, the first couple of people I'll do the trade with. <clears throat> this is running a little long, but I wanted to explain a little more background of the beer. Uh, it's US05 yeast. Uh, it was a similar flavor with an American wheat that I made, but no ingredients are the same from those two batches except for the water which I use well water from my house and the yeast which was a US05. It wasn't the same yeast cake, it was just the same style yeast of the US05. Um, the reason we were leaning towards the well water is because I do have hard water here. Um, I haven't gotten an analysis done because it costs money around here. Uh, it's not a free test 
in the city. It's on my property, the well. And I I think it costs like mm, cl close to $100 to get that test for bacterial and for the minerals and things. I've had um, just a general water test done, which Home Depot kind of collected the samples and did it for free. And it did say that it was hard water. I, th I believe there was a lot of calcium in there. Um, but other than that, they really didn't go into detail the way a good analysis would. So I don't know beyond that, beyond the fact that it was hard well water that I have. Definitely no chlorine, though. Uh, I, I can say that for sure. There's no chlorine. Um, this is the same water I've used for every batch of beer I've made, but I've only tasted this flavor in the American wheat and this uh, cream ale. However, someone mentioned, like I said earlier, that it might be because these are light styles. I did make one other light beer, and that was a Belgian white. That beer, that was our first beer that we ever made, and it was with the same water, and it did not have a similar flavor. So, which, which is why I was kind of not sure if it was the water or not. I'm planning on doing an experiment that, again, Nordeast Brewer 77 from Homebrew Talk told me uh, would be a good idea, wherein I'm going to make a batch of beer using spring water and then splitting that batch into two batches, fermenting one with USO5 and one with another yeast, and seeing if this flavor occurs in the one with USO5 or in neither. If it's in neither, he said it's probably then the water at that point, and if it just like, happens in the USO5, maybe it's the yeast. Yeah, I don't know. Something's going on with this beer, though. There's definitely a tart-ish flavor that I'd like someone to <laughs> help me figure out what it is. So uh, let me know if you want to do a trade. You could just message me on YouTube, uh, and we'll figure that out. And hopefully we could do a couple of videos on it and see if we can't nail down where this flavor is coming from. Um, and I'll give you more information if you uh, decide to do that with me. I could give you all the, the specs about the beer and exactly where all the ingredients came from and everything. So uh, I want to cut this off. We're at 12 minutes. I'll probably try to cut some pieces out of this to make it a little shorter. But thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we could figure out the mystery of the off flavor in my cream ale. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.